Thank you for tuning in to Mr. Clip's Toy Shop. On today's episode, I'm going to segue into a new video. We're going to call this Arrivals, Delays, and Pre-Orders. Basically, I'm just going to talk about figures that have just released, figures that have been delayed, and some things you may want to pre-order. I want to put out a disclaimer. When it comes to pre-orders, I am simply giving you some suggestions. Do not listen to me and make a decision not to pre-order something based on the information I'm given. Because if that item sells out and you are unable to get it, I do not want to be held responsible. So let's start off with Hot Toys. The first figure that I'm going to talk about is the Hellboy from the 2019 Hellboy movie, which was a commercial flop. I like to think that because it was a flop that this figure will remain available for some time. So it was slated to release between July and August. Without a question, it is not making this August deadline, so it will certainly be delayed. I don't think that this is a figure that you have to worry about pre-ordering. I checked a few websites that stock Hot Toys items. This was still available for pre-order on all of those sites. One thing that I forgot to mention earlier um, in the beginning of the video is that as far as releases, I am only talking about releases in the United States, nowhere else. I think that's important to mention because there are few figures that I'll be talking about that have already released in other markets. So the next figure will be Alita Battle Angel slated to release between August and September. I'm also going to say that this figure is going to be delayed. Now, as far as pre-orders, I'm unsure with this one. Personally, I will not be buying this item. I have no attachment to the character. I did see the movie, which was better than I thought it would be. Also, I'm pretty sure that this figure is going to be a one-off. This is all that Hot Toys is going to create. We're not going to get another figure to pair her with unless it's Alita done in another version. Now, making our way onto the Marvel license, Venom Pool. From the Contest of Champions, it's slated to release July to September. This one is going to be delayed. It hasn't even released in Asia market, which you typically see first. With this now, there are two versions. There is a sideshow exclusive that comes with an extra head. So because that version comes with an extra head, if you're interested in this character, I probably would pre-order it. I haven't made a decision if I'm picking this one up or not. It comes in at $400. That's a hefty price tag. I am fairly confident that this figure will remain around for some time. I am unsure if the exclusive version will remain. So maybe I'll wait for it to go 10% free shipping. We'll see. So sticking with Marvel properties, let's talk about Endgame. So one of the recent releases was the Hawkeye or Ronin figure, which just released about a month ago, excuse me, a week ago. So with this figure, there are also two versions, the regular and the deluxe. If you have attachment to this figure, I would go ahead and purchase the deluxe version. I feel that the regular version that does not come with the Ronin look will be around for some time. I think most collectors would want the option to display him as either Hawkeye or Ronin. So the next figure that was slated to release between July and September is the Tony Stark team suit. That's also going to be delayed, which I'm a bit surprised. This one here, I am unsure about pre-ordering. I don't know if I personally want this figure. If I do go down that rabbit hole, I see myself collecting the entire cast, and I'm not sure if I want a War Machine and a Hulk in that suit. Those figures are going to be at least $400 each or close to it. I really got to think about that one. And the... Next and last movie slated to release between July and September will be the Iron Man Mark 85. I have no idea why this one is going to be delayed, but it will. For this one, I absolutely would not pre-order. The Iron Man Hot Toys figures have been sitting. They have been sitting for quite some time. I believe that this one will get discounted, at least free shipping, if not the 10% off. And of course, that's going to take many many months down the line if you don't feel like waiting that long then go ahead put the pre-order in so moving on to another movie would be the spider-man far from home 
Stealth Suit, also slated to release between July and September, and it appears that this figure is going to be late. Like some of the other figures here, there are two versions, a regular and a deluxe. The deluxe simply comes with an additional or an added base, something that I am completely not interested in. So as far as pre-ordering this, I probably would. I probably would pre-order the regular version. If you're interested in that deluxe version, I don't see that one selling out first. I think most collectors will not want to pay $35 for that additional $35 for that stand. So from the same movie, we have the Spider-Man homemade suit that is slated to release in August. This one here, I think, will be on time. I think a lot of people were surprised that it released with this movie as the suit was never shown in the movie. But this was one that I passed on originally. I wasn't crazy about the design, felt that I really didn't need this suit. But once I passed on it and it sold out, I sort of wanted it. I feel like this is the only Spider-Man suit that we have from Hot Toys to where you actually can pose it and not worry about it. So I will be picking this one up this month if it is not delayed. Figures that's delayed would be the Iron Spider. I was really looking forward to this figure from the PS4 game. It is now delayed until October or November, I believe. And sticking with Marvel, Ant-Man from Ant-Man and Wasp, slated to release August and September, will not make the September deadline. This one is going to be delayed. I don't think you have to worry about pre-ordering this, but it's probably a figure that you would want to pick up within the first 60 to 90 days of release. Same thing with the Wasp figure scheduled to release between August and October. I feel that Sideshow pushed that date back. I want to say it was a lot earlier than this, but I can't remember for sure. And this one may make it out by October. So now ending with Marvel will be Gamora from Guardians of Galaxy Volume 2. I don't even know if this figure is actually coming out. It has a release date of August to October. I feel that this has been delayed many times. I could be wrong. Maybe they just simply advertised it and did not provide a date. It feels like collectors have been waiting a long time for this. So if you're interested in purchasing Gamora to add her to your collection, you must pre-order this. I think that this is a figure that the moment that it releases, it will absolutely sell out within days. So moving on to another license, let's talk about Star Wars for a moment. First figures that I want to talk about is the Jawa and EG-6 Power Droid. Those were expected to release last month. We're in August, still showing as a pre-order. Now, as far as pre-ordering these, Star Wars figures are selling out. I wouldn't gamble with any Star Wars figures. If you're looking to add these to your collection, my advice would be to pre-order it. So now, the Princess Layla and Wicked, this just released. So there are a few versions. You can purchase Princess Layla, Layla excuse me, separately. You can purchase the Wicked separately, or you can purchase them together. If you decide to buy them together, you do save about 20 bucks. Also, it comes with two accessories, which I believe is the Stormtrooper helmet and the Death Trooper helmet. And the Darth Vader 40th anniversary is slated to release July to September. Pre-order this. Don't take your chances. And the Boba Fett anniversary vintage color. Make sure you pre-order that as well. Slated to release July to September. I have pre-ordered this one. I am not sure if I'm going to add the Darth Vader to my collection. I already have one, but I'm strongly considering. And also for the Princess Layla and Wicked, I think I'm going to go ahead and jump on that two pack. So the first version of The Mandalorian is also slated to release sometime between August and October. I think that this will absolutely make the deadline, and this is an absolute pre-order. If you are thinking about getting this figure, do it now. Don't wait. I expect this thing to sell out very fast. Continuing with the same show would be the Remnant Troopers. I waited with the original Stormtroopers. I felt like these were items that Sideshow would just keep around for years to come. I was wrong. They have sold out nearly everywhere. 
I was not going to make the same mistake with the Remnant Troopers. I pre-ordered about three of them. They are expected to release, I believe, August through October. You need to pre-order these. So for Storm Collectibles, I played around and didn't pre-order a lot of figures, and it appears that because of it, I'm going to miss out. So the Raiden figure, it appears that that is sold out nearly everywhere that I looked. I was able to find it at one location. However, the price has increased about 25%, and it doesn't show as available. It shows as a pre-order. So I went ahead and put my pre-order in. Hopefully that figure will be shipping soon. Sticking with Storm Collectibles, but moving on to their Injustice line, I did not pre-order Doomsday. Don't know why he has sold out everywhere. If anyone knows where I can find a Doomsday, please let me know. And right now, Doomsday is nearly twice, as, uh, twice the amount as it originally was. I don't know if he's going to go back up from pre-order. I am debating, do I go ahead and just pay that extra 80% that people are asking for, or do I wait to see if he goes back up for pre-order? Lobo released recently as well. I've seen him available at a few places. Now it appears that he's selling out as well. If you're thinking about getting Lobo, you may want to go ahead and pull the trigger. And Dark Side, he seems to be available in most locations. However, being that Doomsday and Lobo are pretty much sold out, you may not want to wait too long to pick up a Dark Side. So moving on to Golden Axe, the Battle Axer. I ordered him as well as Lobo and some other Storm Collectibles with GameStop months ago. I haven't received a figure yet. No notification that it's shipping. I just keep getting delays and delays. So the Battle Axer has sold out in most places. I was able to find it. I pre-ordered him. He should be in this week. Hopefully I'll have time to get a review of that figure up. The Skeleton 2-Packs, they're also selling out in most places. I see people adding about a 20% increase to the price. So if you're thinking about getting these and you can find it for retail, you might want to go ahead and pick those up now. As I think those two packs are going to be a hot commodity, not for just Golden Axe collectors, not for Storm, uh, Storm Collectible collectors, but for many lines. And if you're interested, I also did the review for this one a few days ago. So lesson learned. When it comes to Storm Collectibles, moving forward, I am pre-ordering everything that I want. And that's going to do it for this week's video. Please stay tuned as I plan to do these types of videos more often.